everyone welcome back to my channel kgfl creations my name is karen if you're new here welcome if you are returning welcome back so today i'm hoping this is going to be a quick video uh, i am recording today is the 24th christmas eve by the time you see this it's going to be the 26th which is a tuesday that's when i'm posting this video but i wanted to come in quickly to show you the last items that i made uh, before christmas and the last items that i'm going to make for the year i am not going to sew anymore and i'll tell you in a little bit why so what i made this week i made two little items um, uh, when I made my little pajamas, I don't know if you guys remember a while back, I had a couple of pajamas. My sister, she asked me if I, she liked the fabric that I used, the little uh, stripey fabric. And she asked me if I still had some left over and I told her, oh yeah, I still have some left over. I can make a little shirt for you. So I'm this, I, I thought I'm gonna make her a little shirt and I'll give it to her for uh, um, Christmas. But when I went in to look at it, I didn't have em enough to make one full shirt. So I ended up, making this one here this is the title um shirt by uh, love notions so i used the front panel i used this one here and the back the whole thing here that comes to the front is black because this is the same material that i had purchased from uh, i purchased this from walmart this front here and this here is the same slinky material, very soft, very drapey, slinky. So this will be like a little pajama set because I made this and then I decided to make the little shorts. Let's take this way here. The little shorts right here, tiny little shorts. This is the Tranquil Night Nightwear, I believe it is. Yeah, from um, Love Notions. So this one, I did put a little label in here. Let's see if I can get a little closer to you so you can see it. It says perfect, perfectly imperfect. The little label right there. Need the label for the shorts because you don't know what's front and what's back. And up in the um, top here, also the same little label. I had a little pack of these labels, so I put the same label here. This one here, I cut the size medium. It looks a little bit bigger, especially right here, but hopefully it will fit her. I did have her measurements because I had measured her, I would think maybe two months ago. Uh, she was here and I asked her to uh, get her measurements, so I measured her bust, her waist, um, her hips. So the top, I cut the medium. The little shorts here, I cut the large because of her hips and uh, I do have her uh, waist. So I cut the elastic according to waist. So hopefully this will fit her. This will be her Christmas um, gift. And I am going to now fold all of this and I am going to put it in this little box right here. Do you know what this is? This is the Think Pink box. It's a pretty box, so I'm just gonna put it in this box and give it to her and then she can use it for something. You see why it's good to hold these boxes? So that's nice. So that's gonna be, that's the only Christmas um, present that I have sewn. I did not sew anything else. I was very, very busy with my dress, my party dress, remember from last week? So I didn't sew anything else. I did not want to stress or anything, but these two little items here came together pretty quick. No problems at all. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on in this sewing room and why I am not going to sew anything else uh, this week until uh, New Year's. I decided to do an inventory of all of the fabric that I have in the closet. OMG. I have fabric laid out all over the place. I have fabric on top of my uh, ironing board. I have fabric on top of the table. I have fabric everywhere. I still have fabric inside the closet. Oh my goodness. It is just overwhelming. I'll tell you that. So I decided to do that because next year I want to sew the stash. I'm going to participate in sewing the stash. 2024 or whatever hashtag it comes out and uh, I am going to make a video I'm gonna give you a count of everything that I have and so I have started I'm going actually I have started already 
a spreadsheet so I can put all the um, lengths that I have, the width, what material it is, and where I bought it from, if it's a remnant or not. So I can have an idea. And then after I do all of that, I'm going to have a running total. And with all the pictures that I'm taking for all the fabrics, I'm going to put them all on Trello because that's where I have all of my patterns. So once I have everything in there, and then I have an idea of the colors and everything that I have to make. So I am going to have to participate in the so the stash for 2024 because this is really really overwhelming i didn't think that i had that much fabric in that closet but wow 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 i told my daughter i told her we cannot buy anything else that's it no more buying we have to sew whatever we have in the closet we have to go in there and just pull stuff and just start making some stuff out of there and she agrees with me so we put a little stop on buying and we're gonna make plans and start doing stuff using what we have in there and it's some nice stuff i started taking some pictures and on the video where i show you everything and the totals you'll see some of the pictures of some of the stuff i'll try to do a little recording of the mess which i don't like showing my mess but i'll, I'll try to do a little uh, go around and so you can see what is really happening in the sewing room now i wanted to uh get on a little bit of the plans that I have for the channel. I want to participate a little bit more on some of the hashtags that come around, some of the challenges and all that stuff. So the first one, like I mentioned before, is the Sew so The Stash. I am also going to participate on the Make 9. I'm going to make a video about that. I started already planning about that. And uh, I also want to keep doing some of that, um, something that I did, I think it was like two weeks ago, on the battle of the well i did the battle of the two t's so whenever i do something i want to see if i can do some of that stuff battle of two of something that i'm making i want to see if i can do that because it's a bit tough because i have to make them at the same time so we'll see how that goes so i want to participate a little bit more on all of the stuff that's going on the internet on instagram on youtube also i am not much of an instagrammer I try to check it out and everything, but I don't, I'm not in the habit of posting a lot. So I have to get a little bit more into that. So that's pretty much it for today. I will ask you if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also if you can please subscribe for this next year, 2024, I do want to hit the 1000 subscriber um, goal. So I am close to that. I'm like 800 and something. So I'm getting close to that. So that's one of my goals for this next year, for the beginning of the year, hopefully. So if everybody can please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, it will help me out a lot. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.